Braintree in their home blue uniforms as the pitch is off the plate. As Foley leads things off, their shortstop. Both of these two teams undefeated here heading into today's matchup, which is pretty rare in the Cranberry League to see two teams, especially with the fact the two sides haven't faced each other yet until this point, as that one's pumped in there for a strike. Waiting the first out of this ball game here in the top half of the first, 7.30 start time. And the pitch. And this one sharply hit out to right center field, a base hit. A leadoff single. So with two strikes, able to attack and come up with a base hit. So the game starting a few minutes early, which has been the case the last couple games now. Looks like it's starting about five minutes before the scheduled start time. So looking at the standings, 8-0 Mass Hurricanes versus 6-0 Braintree White Sox. Braintree having their doubleheader against a Cushnet postponed on Sunday. And if you're not familiar with the Cranberry League, they play on Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, with Sundays always being a doubleheader. But it's been a problem with some rainouts on the days that they're supposed to play. As that one drops in there for a strike, good pitch. Able to get ahead of the right fielder, Needle. And just missing off the edge. Trying to establish the outside part of the plate. Lefty ready. And missed high this time. Size lead over at first. And the pitch. And a cut and a miss. Still looking for that first out. And a ground ball rolled over right side. It's going to be a tough play as that one slows down enough and the put out over at second. So the out recorded by Muir. Runner at second with one out. And the pitch. And first pitch swing right side. And an easy play at first. There are two down. Runner heads to third. defense with a couple of putouts on the infield as it brings up the opportunity here with two outs the runner at third and that one smoked to left field but foul by Hawley so after a leadoff base hit back-to-back -back ground outs and the go-ahead run stands at third right tree defense across the outfield it'll be Sharky in left with Craven in center and Keedy in right field Across the diamond, Hall at third, Morse at short, Muir who made the play earlier at second, and LaFleur at first. With the catcher, Donovan. Catching starter, Walker. Ready and another ground ball. This one on the 
middle of the infield as Walker takes it himself and fires over as he spins around and makes the play. So a leadoff single, but nothing further. After three straight ground outs, the White Sox get through the top half of the first in a scoreless game. Bottom of the first and the first pitch in there for strike one. From the starter at Marshall, left-handed pitcher. So 8-0. The Hurricanes going against 6-0 White Sox as the pitch is off the plate. Lead off single back in the top half of the first. The only hit after three straight ground outs. And now Braintree trying to get their first base runner. And a pitch missing off the edge. And still looking to come around with some of those big, strong outings that we're used to in the past. But those crooked numbers have not happened at the beginning of the season. They've been really moving around their roster during the course of the early part of the year. No stable lineup at this point. As the pitch is in there. Getting ready now on the two strike pitch as that one's knocked foul. Check swing. Lefty ready and he just missed on a close pitch. So a lead off walk to get the offense started for the White Sox. Size lead and the pitch down in the dirt. This will certainly be a welcome start for the White Sox. They can push across a run or two here in this bottom half of the first. Long look in, and that one is a strike. Lefty lefty matchup. Ball right there in the middle part of the plate. And that is by the hitter. A strikeout for the first out. So Marshall just sticking with the fastball in the at bat. It's been pretty good early. Trying to establish that fastball. Another new face in the right tree order as Hall steps in and hammers this one out to right field. This one sharply hit and over the head of the right fielder as Katie digging around second now to third and he will stop there on a stand up double. So a couple of base runners here in the inning and the White Sox with two in scoring position. And this one gets all the way to the backstop and the game's first run coming in here on the wild pitch. So Brentry strikes first. Getting by the catcher in a hurry on a pitch upstairs. Brings up the shortstop as Morse will stand in there. Oh, 
And that one spins him back, almost hits him. A couple of pitches here in the at-bat that have been high and tight. The left-handed hitter on the White Sox. As that one's down, and he's sitting in the driver's seat, 3-0. So the Hurricanes, who have not given up many runs this season, given up one so far. Sprentry threatens for more. And that one misses, and a four-pitch walk. Second ready here of the inning. And those are the kind of things that you can't have against the perennial top team in the Cranberry League. Giving away free bases. It's going to come back to bite you. And now Foley. Sprentry DH. Still trying to get back in the rhythm. I believe this is just the second game he's played. Certainly has the ability to leave the yard, which is something he does quite often. And a pretty much guaranteed steal there a second. Base hit should bring across two more. Hurricanes bring the defense in on the corners as that one is inside. Continue to have trouble locating. Here in this inning, it's walk two. Now sitting dead red. And this one hammered in to center field, a base hit. As another run comes across and they will stop the runner at third as Braintree extends the lead to 2-0 on the RBI hit by Foley. So Braintree's second hit of the inning, and they now extend the lead to two. And getting into center field quickly. First run coming across on the wild pitch. Now that is an RBI credited to Foley. They keep moving down the order. And LaFleur on a weak ground ball to third base. The play is to the plate, and the play is recorded at home. As the tag is there, and there are two down. Second out now of the inning. Throw was certainly there in plenty of time, but it's a question of whether the tag was high or not, as this one is slapped back and out of play. So a two-run inning so far, as there's two more on. Catcher Donovan getting an opportunity as he spoils us out of play. Two on and two down. Bottom half of the first. That one misses off the plate. Has some pitches to work with here as he tries to get the batter to chase. It's fan one already here in the inning. Two strike pitch again is off the plate. Pitch is down. So he worked the count full. Runners will be on the move here with two outs, and the bases 
with an opportunity here to add a full count. Runners go, and the pitch is knocked to the backstop. Seeing a lot of pitches here in the event, making the pitcher work. Marshall trying to get through the bottom half of this inning. Just under two runs so far. And missing upstairs, and he walks him. That's been a big time problem here in the inning as he surrendered now three walks and this has got to bring a pitching visit from the coach already here in the first inning. And he knows already that this is a very complicated situation here against a very, very good offense. And you're already down two. Bases loaded, a hit here could break this open already here in the first inning. It'll be the Braintree left fielder Sharkey batting in the eighth spot. Pitch and a ground ball. This one foul a third. Going after that first pitch. Generally after a meeting from the coach, you're going to see a good pitch. Went after it. Big spot here in the first inning. The base is full. And a broken back ground ball to shortstop. The throw will have to come across and it's going to be in time as Braintree strands the bases loaded but the shattered bat is the final out here of the first as the White Sox strike for a couple and we head to the second in a 2-0 game. Top of the second. As Walker back out there. And misses off the plate. Surrendered one walk or one hit back in the first. This will be the five, six, and seven hitters in the order for the Hurricanes. As that one is off the plate to DaCosta. That is a strike as he tries to battle back from a 3 0 deficit. And inside, and a walk drawn. A lot of walks here in the early part of this game. Most of which have been on the other side for Braintree. They got three walks handed to him, but only scored two runs back in the first inning. Left the bases loaded. It's been a tight strike zone. It's a lefty-lefty matchup now. And that off-speed pitch just missed. We'll see if Follin has the green light here. And he does, middle of the infield. Over to second for one, back to first, and they turn the double play on the infield. As Muir gets it over to the shortstop, Morse, who fires across, and there are very quickly two down. So a nice double play ball there, and Walker certainly could use that. As he looks to be very, very efficient here, early in the ball game. Struggled through the first couple of innings in his last start on the road. Actually, it was technically a home game, but it was at Marshfield. Brings up the third baseman, Ventura. Base is clear, two down, and that one is low. Looks like for another pretty good pitch. That one clearly off the edge. So a free pass served up to begin the inning, but the double play ball erases that. And that one makes contact, and that one hits him in the hand. So a couple of base runners in this inning without the benefit of a hit. It's a hit batter now. So 
brings up the DH and Cahill. First pitch, a strike. So I'm trying to continue to hit the zone to begin the at-bats. It's been tough for Walker here in the early going. Almost a non-existent lead over there at first as the pitch is off the edge. We'll see how long the leash is on the other end for the Hurricanes who had their pitcher get into a world of trouble, but he only gave up the two runs after walking three. A couple of hits in the inning for the White Sox back in the first. And the pitch, this one knocked foul of third. The floor looking to keep the runner close at first. With two outs. And that one takes him back off the plate, and they say that hit him. So a couple of hit batters. That must have just grazed the jersey. A very weird inning. <laughs> this one on the ground, foul a third. Strike to begin the at-bat. Two on, two down. Back-to-back -back hit batters. Not very often you see that. As this one out to right field, but a foul ball. So Walker tries to battle through this second inning. Not gonna keep the lead at two nothing. And the strike is in there. Called third strike as Walker getting a strikeout to end the inning as he fans O'Neill and Braintree able to get through the inning without any damage. So we head to the bottom half of the second in a 2-0 game. As this one sharply hit, two left field, a base hit. So Muir finds his way on with Braintree's third hit of the game. As they start the inning off, with a leadoff base hit. Second straight inning now. It was a walk to begin the bottom half of the first. That one misses down and away. So it'll be Katie now batting after walking back in the first. Trying to find his way on for the second time in as many plate appearances. This one to left field, that one off the end of the bat makes its way down. Back-to-back -back singles, and the White Sox, and another threat here offensively. So a great start here for the offense. Gonna keep it going. pitch and a bunt try. This one popped up and a diving attempt and the third baseman cannot make the play. Trying to take away the opportunity there. Good effort there from the infielder. 
Let's see Berenger trying to sacrifice here and bring two over. Trying to extend their lead here in the inning. Berenger not a team that generally bunts often. Playing a little small ball potentially, or hoping to. And the pitch, he goes after that one. So it takes the bunt play off and a foul tip now. And the pitch, and that one spins him back. Pitch on the way, and the pitch in there for a called third strike on the edge. Second time he has fanned here in this ball game. So brings up the third baseman. Two on now, one out. Some action starting in the bullpen. This one is rolled over foul, a third. strike on the outside part of the plate. Marshall looking to slow down these brand new bats who had some good approaches here through the first inning plus. And that one is knocked out of play. Back behind the plate. lead from first and second and that one is upstairs this one sharply hit down the left field line and it hooks just foul that was another opportunity for extra bases A good swing from Hall. We doubled to the right fielder last time over his head. Three singles and a double so far for the Braintree offense. Also been aided with three walks. As the pitch on the way is knocked back and out of play. So along at bat. Certainly a much cooler day than it has been the last couple weeks now. For the scheduled 7.30 start. And as he misses off the edge again. And misses as that will fill up the bases on another free pass. The fourth surrendered by the starter, Marshall. Can't imagine the leash will be very much longer with some action continuing in their bullpen. It is here in the second inning, but this game 
couple of hits away from getting out of hand for the visitors. Two back in the first, nothing yet. But White Sox threatening as that one is knocked back and out of play. So it brings up Morse, who had one of those four walks. Full in the on deck circle. And this one sharply hit out towards left field. Continuing back, the left fielder with a long lunging play makes the catch and it turns into a sack fly, but that got very adventurous out there in left field. So it does bring home the run, he makes the catch, but that's almost was a disaster. Two in the first, one so far here in the second on the sack fly. Brings up Foley, who was credited with an RBI his last time on a single to center field. Pitch is down and away. Sixth hitter to the plate here in the inning. And Foley takes low. So right now he's looking for a pitch he can deposit into the outfield. Sitting on that fastball. And a ground ball as that one was knocked off him inside the batter's box. lead from first and second and the pitch and Foley to right field as that one's going to reach foul ground. Trying to extend the inning. inside. Walks have been a big time problem for the starter Marshall but does have a base open. It would load up the bases though if he walks them. And the pitch is down in there for a called third strike and Foley does not like the call but he takes the third out of the inning back to the dugout as Braintree strands a couple more here in the second. They get one and lead 3-0 as we head to the third. First pitch is a foul tip for a strike. On the ground, middle of the infield. As Mueller over on the move, a throw that is going to be fielded nicely over at first. That one is going to tail on him a little bit. It's Foley now one for two. A couple of putouts over at second base for Muir, including starting that double play ball. missing. Walker works into his third inning of work and that one's down. 
Lead off ground out to second. The White Sox offense continues to put base runners on. Certainly could lead by a lot more than three as that's in there for a called third strike. The second strikeout and both of them have been looking for Walker. First pitch, that one's down there at the knees. Fastball by him. See if Walker can start to settle in a little bit here. For a one, two, three inning. And that one slapped off the backstop. To the first baseman, Palmer, make it second baseman. Off speed pitch, he didn't offer at it. Certainly thought about it, but did not go around. One plate umpire did ask for some assistance from the base umpire, but just as I expected. It was low. There was no swing. Walker ready. Winds and fires. And Jez below the knees again. Would have been a nice pitch there to end the inning, but just a little bit low, according to the home plate umpire. Who now will clear off the plate. Southpaw ready as Walker fires, and this one is rolled over foul right at the plate. Rangers will have their six, seven, eight hitters due up in the bottom half of this third. They look for the final out now in the top half. And the pitch, and a ground ball rolled over to third, but foul. Payoff pitch, and that one, wow. A very close pitch. So that'll be the second walk allowed by Walker, although that one couldn't have missed by much. Very short lead at first, as the pitch is down in the dirt. On the ground, right side. It'll be Muir again as he makes the play, and that does it here in the inning. So it is a two out base runner, but nothing further as we head to the bottom of the third. Still, the White Sox three, and the Mass Hurricanes nothing. Bottom of the third, first pitch is off the edge. That's the floor, will lead things off. Rounded out to third his first time. And a strike. So a pitching change to start this inning. Right-handed reliever now into the game. As this one out towards center field, that one's going to be a tough play. But the second baseman ranging, able to pull that one in. Nice running catch. Read that one well off the bat. 
So the reliever Collins coming into the game to pitch. Right-handed pitcher after just two innings from the starter. And that one off the plate. To the Braintree catcher. Donovan stands in there. And this one sharply hit to left field. This one carrying, but not far enough as the left fielder tracks it down. So two quick Braintree outs here in the third. Put a pretty good charge into that one. So now brings up Sharkey. Broke a bat and grounded out to shortstop his last time. Pop up to second and a fly out to left. The two outs in the inning as he's way out in front of that. Shark, you did not chase it. First two have been retired here in the third. It's the White Sox in danger of going one, two, three for the first time here in the game. Ground ball, this one on a hop over to third. Cut off and across. One, two, three. The White Sox go here in the bottom half of the third as we head to the fourth. Still three nothing, Braintree. Top of the fourth, and the first pitch is knocked to the screen. Five, six, and seven in the order for the Hurricanes. As that's another strike. To the catch to lead things off to Kuda. Down in the dirt. Walker working quickly as he misses off the edge. is inside on the close pitch. Walker's been right around the zone, just hasn't gotten a couple of close pitches to go his way. And a ground ball, this one on the middle of the infield. That's short, and the opening out. Put out from Morse. That's the seventh ground out now induced by Walker. As the pitch is just inside. Not getting help any help at all from the home plate umpire. But still out to a three nothing lead. As that's in there for a strike. Off speed and again to shortstop. Morris with another look, and he's made them both. Able to get Follin. Third consecutive ground out now by the Hurricane hitters. They're putting the ball in play, but right now the defense making a lot of the plays for Braintree. Brings up Ventura, who was hit by a pitch his first time. And he went after that one.
Looking for a one, two, three top half of this fourth inning. A pair of ground outs, and now that one rolled off the batter. It's a foul ball. Ready, winds and fires, and misses. Wow. Two strikes. Walker having to throw a lot more pitches as this one has made contact again for the second time in the game with the hitter. Ventura has been hit twice. After not getting the called third strike on the pitch before he hits him on the next pitch. Pretty crazy to think there's been hit three hit batters by Walker who has hit the same hitter twice now. As Cahill stands in and takes the pitch low. So the clean inning broken up. Haven't really got much of a lead here in this. Look against the left-handed pitcher, tough to read as a base runner. And on the ground right side, this will be Muir. As he makes the play, and that does it here in the top half of the four. So a one out, or a two out hit batter does not come around to score, and we head to the bottom half, three nothing. And a broken bat here to begin the bottom half of the fourth, and a catch at second. You don't generally see a broken bat travel that far, but it worked out. The ball carried pretty well. <laughs> that one in there for a strike. So it brings up Katie, who has reached twice. Walked and he's singled out in front of that one. Fastball just missing. Both sides looking for a call from the home plate umpire that they haven't gotten. That one's down. So Collins remains in the game for second inning of work and relief. Some more action behind him in their bullpen. So he works for second inning. The starter went two. And another close pitch that doesn't go his way. Pitcher wondering where that one missed. So a pair of walks atop the order. Now be the Braintree center fielder. This pitch on the way and Craven drives this one out to center field. This one hit pretty well back towards the center field fence and maybe about 10 feet in front of it, able to make the catch on a big swing. Much better approach the third time around. Fanning the first two times. So bring up Hall who has reached twice. He's doubled and walked. So that one hangs inside. See if Katie takes off now with two outs in the inning. Trying to get into scoring position as the pitch is outside, 2 0. Braintree with two runs in the first, one run in the second. Did not score in the third, which we play here in the fourth. 
Three nothing lead. And that one way inside and high. And that one misses. And he walks him for the second time. Second walk of the inning. That's the sixth walk now surrendered by the pitching staff here for the Mass Hurricanes. Who continue to play with fire. Brings up the shortstop Morse who has walked and flied out to left field. The sacrifice fly brought in Raytree's third run. And this one sharply hit to right field, but again, right at the outfielder as Braintree's had a couple of big swings here in this inning, but nothing to show for it as they do not score in the fourth. We head to the fifth, still 3-0. Top five and the pitch. Missing off the plate. So Walker continuing to work here into the fifth. Still putting up a shutout as the hitter did not go around. Nine, one, and two hitters in the order for the Mass Hurricanes who trailed by three runs. Ranchers had base runners in just about every inning. And they've only scored three runs. Big reason why? Pitching staff here for the Hurricanes continues to be very good here in the early part of the season. As the fastball is in there for a strike. Lefty ready. And another good fastball but misses. So O'Neill draws a walk to begin the inning. Now the third free pass served up by Walker. We'd love another one of those ground ball double plays. He's got a lot of ground balls, so certainly not out of the realm of possibilities. It is the leadoff hitter Foley, who has singled and grounded out to second. Falling behind the last couple of hitters now. So into the third time through the order. Should play here in the fifth. Good fastball, it's a strike. Pop back and out of play. No look for the catcher. Long look in the direction of first base. And now coming to the plate on the ground, this one to third, another potential double play ball over to second for one, back to first, and the throw gets away. And the runner takes off for second base, and he will get there without a throw. Had that one been fielded cleanly, I don't think he would have been out at first anyway, but aren't you trying to spin two on the infield? But the throwing error does get the runner to second base. First out of the inning. The Hurricanes want to come back here in this one. They really need something here in this fifth inning with the runner at second and one out. Good breaking ball. And the pitch. This one popped up. Maybe a look over there at third as this one heads towards the dugout and it's out of play. Not a ton of foul territory here at Braintree High School. 
down either line. It's a reasonable amount behind the home plate, but playing here into the fifth. It's been for the most part a pretty well played game. A lot of walks though. A lot of that has to do with the small strike zone here in this game by the home plate umpire. This one in foul ground. Oh, nice play. As Hall able to track it down, he read that one perfectly off the bat and took away a foul ball. Had to read that one perfectly in order to make a play like that. Read that one off the bat, made the play, and Walker certainly appreciates that type of defense. Lead off walk. Runner now is at second after a fielder's choice and a pop-up. Foul ground. For Palmer. As this one's popped up and out of play. Looking for the final out now of the fifth. Hurricanes with a runner at second and a strike called. So he's got two strikes now on the hitter. Two strikeouts for Walker to this point. Both of them have been looking. Trying to get through this fifth inning and keep the lead at 3 nothing. So the runner leads from second and the pitch and he got it by him. They called third strike to end the inning. So the White Sox continue to hold on and have a shutout of a 3-0 score. First pitch here of the bottom half of the fifth. Another new pitcher on. Entering into the game is Novio. Six and seven in the branchy order as Foley somehow avoids getting hit. Is that one missing badly low? going after it, no contact. Foley LaFleur and Donovan, the expected trio here in the inning. Bottom half of the fifth and a three nothing game as Foley with a swing and miss over the top of it as he fans for the second straight time. Tough start to the season for Foley. up the floor and the pitch that's in there for a strike he has grounded out and popped up he's 0 for 2 continues to play first base for the White Sox so that one is down in the dirt some throwing going on in the Braintree bullpen potentially for the sixth inning As this one off the end of the bat, sound like another broken bat as the second baseman can't make the catch. Wow, it's a big break for the White Sox. That easily should have been an out. So that'll go as an error on the second baseman. Costly mistake for Folan. It's one you just can't have. 
Down by three runs. As Donovan goes after the first pitch, that one popped up in foul ground. There's some room there for the catcher as that one does drop. Wow, back-to-back -back plays. The defense can't make a play on it, and that probably should have been an out too. Tough play there for the catcher moving in that direction, but first baseman also coming over as the runner takes off. They pitch a strike, the throw down, not in time. As this one gets into the outfield and now stopping at second. Thought about it for a couple of moments and probably decides wisely not to take off after it didn't move in the right direction right away. So lead off strikeout and then the error. Puts the runner on at first, now a stolen base. A couple of misplays here by the defense has been pretty good. As he goes after a pitch and strikes out on a pitch down in the dirt and the throw down in time for out number two. Really a good pitch down away. Got him to go after it. So it'll bring up Sharkey who's grounded out twice. Once to the left side to third and once to short. Some more left-handed Action. Walker, a left handed pitcher for the White Sox. And another left handed reliever up. Closing in on the start of the sixth inning. The White Sox still leading 3 0 in insurance run at second as the pitch is off the plate. Base hit here should bring in a run. Very sloppy inning for the defense for the Hurricanes, who's made a couple of mistakes. And now in danger of walking Sharkey with Muir in the on deck circle. And misses on four pitches. Another free pass served up by the pitching staff. That's the seventh walk now surrendered. But Braintree still only scored those three runs. With a chance to add a two out RBI to their total. Looking for that big hit here in this ball game. As that one misses, had trouble finding the strike zone now. Trouble locating the strikes on the last two hitters as Muir takes a strike. He has singled and popped up to second. Two on, two down. A couple strikeouts in the inning, and that one is foul tipped and held on to for a strike. Getting ready to take off. And the pitch on the ground, another broken bat. As this one to third, and the throw across is in time. He really loaded up there to get that throw over in time as Braintree has broken now four bats in this ball game. As we head to the sixth, still three nothing. Top of the sixth, and the first pitch missing. In a pretty good spot. Two and zero start. Four, five, and six hitters. Holly has grounded out twice. Oh for two. As this one's knocked back and out of play. Went after the fastball. And 
This one makes contact. That one hit the bat, they say. Now there is no decision made. The ball was ruled foul. That one clearly in play. And it's either got to be a fair ball and the batter's out or it made contact with the hitter and he's out or he's hit by a pitch. The hitter has got to be the one that knows what exactly what happened there because he was the one that had contact with. And now obviously in a spot like this, we're getting late in the ball game. They're down three runs. This is a big spot for the Mass Hurricanes who are in danger of having the opening out here. So like I said, there's got to be two options here. It's either the ball was put in play after it hit the bat and he's out or made contact with the hand and he's at first base with a hit by pitch. It's really only two scenarios here. There's no such thing as a redo. And the call is out as of now. Hitter not happy with the call. Kick some dirt on the home plate. Obviously showing his displeasure to the home plate umpire. Certainly can understand some of his frustration. I think both sides have not been all that happy with it. Overall here in this game with the strike zone as this one lifted out to right field and a base hit. I've been seeing something like that in all these years covering these White Sox games. Seen some Obviously some vocal displeasure, but nothing like that. It is still relatively early in the season, but obviously a big game for the Hurricanes who are trying to knock off Braintree from the unbeaten as well. As that pitch is in there for a strike. Brings up Fulham, who made that costly error at second base. Back in the bottom half, the fourth. Somehow it did not cost him. We're actually scoring their three runs early in this ball game. Certainly have had many more opportunities to add to it, but just haven't been able to get that timely hit. As this one hit pretty hard out towards center field, but playable over there to make the ranging play, and that one gets down. That one is mishandled in center. Ball was initially caught and then it was bobbled, fell down. And now two have reached after that controversial call going against the Hurricanes. They've had a couple of things go their way since. And now they're bringing the tying run to the plate here in a three nothing game. And this one hits them and now they're loaded up. So this inning has really changed a lot. I can't believe it. That is the third time the same guy's been hit by a pitch. Was that even possible? And this game, a hit away from becoming a brand new ball game, a one run game. Last three have reached, and none have scored yet. Rentry has gone to the bullpen for the first time. Walker going the first five, but since going into the bullpen, I'm sure the Hurricanes have been happy to see a new pitcher in this game. As that one is outside. 
So Cahill, who's been hit by a pitch, he's also grounded out. They've been hit by four pitches in this game. As that one's in there for a strike. Another strike. White Sox would really love one of those ground balls now. Something they could turn two with on the infield. And the pitch. Oh, he just missed. Catcher set up on the outside part of the plate. Looked like that one right, right into the glove. Lefty ready, winds and fires, and this time misses upstairs and there's nowhere to put him. Bases loaded jam here in the top half of the sixth inning. Best opportunity for the visitors. Down three nothing. And the pitch. And this one out to center field. As the catch is made this time, the throw back into the plate. A good throw as this one gets away, but well backed up by the pitcher as the sacrifice fly does make it a 3-1 game, but a very important second out. So a strong throw towards the plate. But the Braintree defense with a costly error here in the inning have given up an unearned run. Right now, it's about focusing on getting that third and final out with a 3-1 lead. Hurricanes battling here in this inning. They're feeling slighted to begin the inning on that controversial call. Off the hand and or the bat. Called an out. As this one's knocked out of play. So it's the number nine man, O'Neill, who has fanned looking and has walked. His third plate appearance, first against the reliever. The game here today, another close contest for the White Sox. Check on over at first. Haven't seen many pickoff plays in this game. Been plenty of base runners. Now four runs on the board. Trying to get through this sixth inning. Has the pitch on the way and misses off the edge again. That one misses. Again, a base is open. Long top half of the sixth. And he walked him. Second time he's drawn a walk from the number nine spot, and the bases have filled up. A hit here could make it a 3 3 game. Trying to buckle in now and Get that final out. Some more action back behind in the bullpen for the Hurricanes down the left field line. And he missed. The White Sox might get somebody up and throwing now. Command starting to become a problem. He's hit one and walked one in this inning. And another pitch that's off the plate. Bases full with two out. And a pop up, and the White Sox really needed that. This one to first. As LaFleur puts it away, and somehow the White Sox can get out of the inning with just the one run across. As the Hurricanes score to get on the board, we head to the bottom of the sixth, and a three to one game. Bottom of the sixth inning, as that one's 
spins back Katie from the plate. He's been on base all three times. He's walked twice and singled. French are trying to get an insurance run back right now with a 3-1 lead as the Mass Hurricanes down to their final three outs. As this one to first base and spinning back to make the catch and then avoiding the sliding player. The ball does come loose, but obviously well after the ball was secured for the out. So for the first time, the leadoff man, Katie, has been retired. The first out of the inning has the fastball in there for a strike. Fourth time around now, the Branchy order. It's a pitch on the way, and the pitch is down. Did not go after it. So this is the fourth different pitcher of the game as Blinn in relief. And the pitch, this one smoked up the middle, and the shortstop able to track it down and get the throw across just in time for the out. Two quick outs here in the sixth. That one hit as hard as it can be hit in the middle of the infield. She hit right off the top of the mound on the way through. And this one hit him on the first pitch. And batters have been plentiful here in this game. That is just the first Braintree hitter that's been hit by a pitch. But the White Sox have hit four. There's been five hit batters in this game. And what is a 3-1 game in favor of the home team? One of these teams gonna suffer their first loss here today of the regular season. Right now, Braintree with a two-run lead looking to add to it. And Morse on the ground ball to the right side, it gets through into right field as the runner digs for third and Morse will stop as the right fielder overruns it a little bit. That could have been some interference there on the first baseman. Morse started to round the bag and he could not continue to go because the fielder got in his way. Didn't really press the issue and kind of pulled up there but easily could have just run over the fielder and probably would have gotten the call from the umpire that that would have been Feel there's interference, but nonetheless, they're at the corners, and Foley so do. Struck out a couple of times here in this ball game, and facing the fourth pitcher of the day. So back-to-back -back base runners after the first two were retired. They're at the corners for Foley. And the pitch, this one sharply hit and through the hole on the right side. A base hit brings in a run and now digging for third is Morse and he'll get there without a throw. So Braintree playing first to third. A couple of hard hit singles to the right side of the infield and Braintree doing a nice job taking it the other way. So an RBI hit from Foley, his second of the game. He's responsible now for two of the four Braintree runs. And now trying to really break this one open with the base hit here is LaFleur. Get all this done with two outs. That one down in the dirt. Catcher makes a nice play. Keep that one from the backstop. So what was a two-run game, heading into the inning, back up to three. Springtree's had an insurance run. Still not done yet here in the bottom half of the inning. Looking for win number seven. Hurricanes in danger now 
losing their first of the season. Being held on at first base as that pitch is upstairs. Pitcher kind of coming off the mound a little bit awkwardly. I wonder if he was injured there, but seems to be okay. Inning continues. And the fastball's in there for a strike. So Blinn surrendering a run here in this inning. Sprintree's lead is now 4 1. There are two outs, but they're at the corners. And he's battled back now from 3 0 to make it 3 2. Just missed inside. Another close pitch. So a pinch runner here over at second base for Foley, who drives in his second of the game. Pitch is outside. Yeah, great job. Okay, let's go. Ready on the pitch. And this one drilled out to right field. This one trailing towards the line. And that one hauled in. Great catch in the outfield. And that takes away extra bases. So Braintree does strike for one. Certainly could have had more here in the inning. But they take the lead into the seventh and final inning for one. Top of the seventh, the White Sox look for the final three outs. Two, three, and four in the order, so a good part of the order for the Hurricanes. Trailed by three runs, big insurance run back in the sixth, but Rancher did leave them loaded. A couple of times in this game, Rancher's left the bases loaded, had plenty of base runners. Certainly should have a much bigger lead at this point. Pitch on the way to Needle as the pitch is outside. Here in the game, he's 0 for 3 from the two spot. Right fielder made that nice running catch, took away extra bases. And the bottom half of the sixth. As he's able to get it by him, and he strikes out the leadoff man. Now an 0 for 4 showing. Tough day at the dish for the number two hitter, Needle. They haven't had many hits in this game. They've actually had more hit batters than they've had hits. So brings up the first baseman, Palmer, who takes a strike. Another hit batter. The fifth batter Braintree has hit. Braintree's been hit once. It's really been a tough day for the pitchers as far as command goes. Just hasn't been there in the middle of the zone. Sometimes you don't even see this many hit batters in a week worth of games. As this one out to left field, first pitch swinging. And there are two down here in the inning. So down to their final out. Holly, who was in the midst of that controversial call a couple innings ago with that foul ball that hit his hand and or bat. Kicks some dirt on the plate. Then this time flies out on his first pitch he sees. 
Not even allowing the umpire to really affect his at bat as the pitch is off the edge. A lot of pitches that look like their first pitch strikes and obviously changes the approach from the pitcher. It's much different being ahead than being down a pitch as this one spins him back. So the Hurricanes trying to get another runner on, which will bring the tying run to the plate. Temperatures certainly have cooled down as this game has moved on. And this one off the end of the bat, knock foul. Strikeout and a flyout in the inning. Mixed in with a hit batter. And there's two strikes now on the hitter. And wouldn't it be a fitting ending for this one to end on a strikeout? Brentry's pitching has had four strikeouts to this point, which is well below the norm. Runner at first being held on, and the pitch is up. Brentry hadn't scored since the second inning up until the bottom half of the sixth, where they scratched across a run. And the pitch is down and it gets away. And the runner heads for second and no need to go any further as they will get an opportunity with the tying run coming to the plate. So the free pass springs two on. Frankie still with some action in their bullpen. Will they make a change here for the final out? Pitcher gonna remain in the game for now. First pitch strike. It'll take something here from Folan. This game is going to continue. Lefty just missed again. A lot of close pitches here in this ball game. And it has not gone the way of the pitcher. That time off the edge. Certainly don't want to put another one on. To play here in the seventh. There are two outs. Hurricanes are not going away. And the pitch, this one drilled out to right field, but back there to make the catch and secure the game is Katie. As that one hits sharply, but that is the story of the game. Neither side really getting that big hit here today. And Braintree holds on for a 4-1 win. Things got interesting here in the seventh with two base runners on and the tying run coming to the plate. But the White Sox hold on as Walker gets the win going the first five and coming in for a two-inning save. So that'll conclude our coverage here today as the White Sox move to 7-0 with the win. And the visitors move to 8-1 with the loss. First loss of the season for the Mass Hurricanes as that will conclude our Cranberry League coverage of tonight's ball game. On behalf of David Eric, our camera person, I'm Mike Wassel. We'll see you next time.